Let us enter into the word. Dear friends, if today you ask any CEO of a company, what would happen to the company if it loses its focus on its business model or mission statement? Or ask any coach of a sports team, what if his team members loses that focus on winning the prize? Now, if you apply this to the spiritual realm, what would happen to the church if we lose sight or lose focus of our mission, of our calling? Well, we will be doing a lot of things, but many of these things might not be really essential and we might not be really faithful to what God is asking of the church today. I remember when I was young, we had a catechism teacher who was very zealous. He would be always talking about saving souls. And later on, he went on to become a priest. Well, today we seldom hear this word, saving souls. Well, one reason could be today we use another word to describe this work of the church. And this word that we use is called evangelization. Pope John Paul II says, the church exists to evangelize. Our primary mission is evangelization. So the question is, what is evangelization? Well, evangelization in, in its essence is bringing the good news of God's salvation accomplished in Jesus to humanity. Well, we can ask the question now, how do we understand the human person today? Well, we see the human person as not just souls, but body and soul. Thus, evangelization also involves saving the body. It also involves making this world a better place. It also involves bringing God's love to those who are suffering, trying to elevate those who are going through injustice or poverty, or today those who are involved in trafficking, uh, or today we focus on saving the environment. Well, this is also important. But I think the question that we need to ask ourselves today, what is our primary focus? Well, if we want to understand our primary focus, we need to look at life in terms of eternity. Life here on earth is just temporary. Maybe we live for 70, 80 years. What is more important is eternal life, life forever. And so if we look at life in terms of an eternal perspective, then the salvation of souls becomes very important because it would mean whether one day we would end up in heaven or in purgatory or in hell. But what is most important for us is that we end up in heaven because even purgatory is not going to be a good place. And so salvation of souls ultimately means that we are helping people to reach their heavenly goal. Francis in Christ, as you look at the gospel today, we see Jesus calling his 12 disciples to himself up a mountain and then he tells them i call you to be with me and i sent you out to preach and 
to take authority over the powers of darkness. Yes, preaching and deliverance are the true primary ways we go about winning souls for Christ. We need to preach because people need to hear in order to believe. We need to bring healing and deliverance because very often the evil one is so active in our lives, either keeping us in bondage because we have indulged in some occultic activity and we might be bound with obsession and oppression and all kinds of bondages in our life. Or we might be subject to the ongoing temptations of the evil one constantly trying to take us away from God. Brothers and sisters in Christ, let us today recognize our calling. We are first called to be with the Lord, to have a deep relationship with Him. And we must not forget that our primary calling is to help people to come to God, to experience God's love in their life, and to help them to be freed from the powers of darkness, from all evil that is preventing us from living a fuller life, all evil especially that is trying to lead us not to heaven, but to hell, where we will be separated from God forever. Let us desire, let us have a love for souls to bring people so that when they come to God, they will one day enjoy fullness of life with God in heaven. God bless.